Hi there, welcome to Houston DIY, my name's Ben. In this video we're checking out this, which is the J5 Create Capture Card. Okay, we've very recently done a few videos now, or two actually, two videos very recently on the MetaQuest HDMI Link application. Uh, so that's a brand new application that supports HD capture cards, or USB capture cards, sorry, on the MetaQuest 3, only offering uh, support for USB 3.0. So we've got this, which is the Ugreen uh, 3.0 capture card. And there's a few problems with this. One, there's issues actually inside the headset. It only puts kind of a section of the actual video through to the uh, headset. I can't find a solution for that online. There's people online discussing it. There's no solution yet. I'm not sure if it's an actual software issue or the meta side, not so sure yet. Um, but in the meantime, I've been looking for the kind of ultimate capture card. So we have this one, we have the Ugreen HD capture card, we have the Elgato capture cards, and I think the ultimate capture card has got to be at the right price point. Um, but it's also got to offer, in my opinion, and maybe yours, it's got to offer some kind of power pass-through, so some charging capability into the headset, so you can actually use it for a long period of time, but obviously keeping the charge into the headset. So if you've got a battery pack on the headset, or you've got a separate battery source, maybe a power pack, you can obviously keep charging the headset. So hopefully, this is where the J5 Create comes in. Now, there's been a few different ones online mentioned about power pass-through, uh, but I'm hoping this one may be the one. So in this video, we're going to kind of just unbox it, just quick unboxing down, down here on the desk. We'll plug it into the MetaQuest 3, and we'll see if it works both, obviously, just with pass-through. We'll probably just keep it nice and simple to start with. I'll just use my phone and do some Samsung Dex pass-through, and then we'll make sure you can charge as well. So first of all, we'll head down to the desk, we'll unbox it, and uh, see what the build quality is like. Okay, so we've got it here, we're gonna head down to the desk. So got it down here, it's a nice little box, orange and black branding. You can see, hopefully see on this camera down here, uh, you can see the actual capture card. So, opens up like that, you can see the capture card in there, hopefully. Nice bit of Velcro, shows a couple of setups you can do. Portable dock for USB game console, live streaming workstation, USB-C display, a few different options there. So let's get it open, uh, let's get it in from inside the box. Okay, so there we have it out of the box now. So you can see, in terms of compared to the uh, Ugreen 3.0 capture card, it's significantly bigger. Um, it's probably in total, probably three times the size if you take everything into account. But this is, it's giving you tons of different options to be fair. So you've got kind of, almost like the Ugreen HD capture card or the Elgato HD 60, but in more of a portable format. So you obviously got the USB-C built onto it so you don't need that extra cable. Um, let me just show you some close-ups. Hopefully you'll better see. It says DC in just there, so that's where the power goes in. Uh, we've got a HDMI in and a HDMI out port, so you can even do it, use it as a HD, HDMI monitor too. The two USB 5 gigabyte per second ports there, and you've got a headphone jack on there too. So tons of in and out. Um, the ones we're interested in for this video are gonna be the HDMI input, which is that side down there. And then we've got the um, USB-C that's gonna go into the headset. And then we've got the PD, uh, the DC power pass-through just there. So I'll get things set up just down here so you can see, check out the cabling, what we're gonna do, how we're gonna do it. And then we'll plug it into the headset and we'll give it a go. Okay, so I've got things cabled up down here, ready to go. Obviously some cables could be longer, could be shorter. This is just what I've got at the moment. So. Uh, if I come down to the desk, you see I've got my phone, which is a Samsung uh, Galaxy S24 Ultra. We've got the USB-C to HDMI cable. That's a cable from UNI. All these uh, items will be linked in the description. So UNI, um, that supports HDMI 2.1 on that cable. That's going into the J5 Create capture card, just into the HDMI input port. We've then got, obviously, the built-in USB-C cable that will go into the MetaQuest 3. And the difference here is we've got the uh, USB-C cable here from my battery pack. So this is a, this is a 60 watt capable battery pack, um, 20,000 milliamp power, just a standard USB-C to USB-C cable going into there. So all we're gonna do now, I'll get the MetaQuest 3, we're gonna plug it into the side of the MetaQuest 3. We'll make sure we get output uh, into the actual HDMI link application and we'll make sure it's charging as well. So this could be a great setup for kind of anything on the move. 
um, in terms of maybe playing a Nintendo Switch. We'll try it with Nintendo Switch if this does work as well. And also with a PC and then obviously using Samsung decks, which we're going to do now. So I'll just grab the headset and then we'll, we'll try it out. Okay, so I'm inside the headset and we are recording too. Um, so we're recording now. So let me just grab the HDMI link application, which is here. Um, we'll just move that over there and move that into the middle there. So here we are. So if you can see in front of me on the actual um, video capture, I've got the video capture card here ready to go. And I'm going to plug this into the side of the headset and we'll just see what happens. Okay, so we need to give permission because this is a new capture card that I've not used before. And there we go. So as you can hopefully see, I've got Samsung DeX over here. I've got 31 frames per second with 1080p um, output uh, resolution down here. So not 4K, but 1080p. I've then got over here, hopefully you can see, there's the charging icon. So it's charging. So just to prove that, that it is this is charging, I will just, hopefully you can see that, I'll unplug that. And we've lost the charging uh, icon. I'll plug that back in. And it's charging. I do get a pop-up and I get the notification to tell me it's charging too. So that is everything there working as expected. So let me just control Dex and we'll open something up in Dex so you can see. If you can see on this camera, what you're going to do is maybe Velcro this to the side of the headset, just so you're not going to hold it. So your cable management is, is definitely something that needs sorting, uh, but that's not a problem. So let me just open an application here. We'll open the Play Store. Um, you can see what the Play Store open. Let's open Google search, see uh, about Oasis there making their uh, their comeback. So that's working absolutely fine, no problems whatsoever there. So that's definitely Samsung Dex working with this capture card. We've got uh, power pass through, so it's keeping the headset charged as you're using it, which is obviously really important if you're watching a film or if you're sharing your laptop through here, something like that, to keep the charge of your headset um, because obviously the battery doesn't last forever in the headset. So, so far so good, really, really pleased with that. Okay, there we go. So I think this could be a really, really good um, good capture card for on the go. Nice and lightweight. The size-wise, it is quite chunky. Um, it could be a bit smaller, but you've got lots of in and out ports there. So on the go, you obviously you can do the uh, main capturing. So capture from the Samsung DeX on the Samsung phone, from another mobile phone, from a PC. Um, but obviously if you're at home as well, you can connect this into a PS5, PS4, Nintendo Switch that is docked. Uh, that would work absolutely fine. The, the difference with this is the power pass-through. So the power pass-through is definitely working you, through the USB-C port built into the actual capture card. Also with this one as well, there's a, lot, a couple more uh, in and out ports that we mentioned previously. So you've got the two USB ports, the USB 3 ports. So you could use that for uh, audio input, audio output, for example, um, connecting other devices into there. So that does act almost as like a hub as well on the J5 Create. Um, so... I guess it is basically a hub with the ability to um, use as a capture card as well. That's kind of exactly what it is. Um, the headphone port on there that could be used for headphones or maybe even a speaker. Um, so yeah, so for I, think, I got this for just over, I think it was 41.99, so kind of 42 pounds. Compared to the Ugri ones, for example, the USB 3.0 capture card, um, it's better. So it's definitely better. You've got power pass through. Um, it's better than the Ugreen HD capture card too because that has, doesn't have power pass through, this does. Um, so I think this could be the one for me now for using for a while to be fair. Um, especially for longer periods maybe. So if I'm actually travelling with it um, because I can then charge the headset as well as watching or watching a film from a PC or playing a game on Samsung phone etc etc. This could be the one. So this is the J5 Create Video Capture USB Hub. Okay, end of this video now with the J5 Create Video Capture Hub. Um, this has just been the next video on the MetaQuest HDMI Link application videos I've been doing. Um, so I'll link to those now, but I'll put links in the description too to those videos where we've looked at different options, different alternatives of capture cards, but also uh, capturing PS5, PS4, Nintendo Switch, PC, and Samsung DeX. So tons and tons of options getting those inside the MetaQuest 3 and the MetaQuest 2. Um, so if you've got any questions about the capture card, about the setup I've done, anything like that, drop it in the comments section. I will reply to all questions and comments. If you've liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If not for any reason, give it a thumbs down, but let me know in the comment section why. If you wanna follow the Houston DIY channel for more tech reviews, product reviews, home DIY projects, giveaways, more videos on the MetaQuest, 
and more videos on capture cards, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.